Its historic audit of nearly 5 million ballots continuing today. All counties, they face a Wednesday deadline, but several have already finished. That includes some of the state's largest counties. Amber Spradley brings us an update now from Lowndes County. Here in Lowndes County, the Supervisor of Elections says they finished up recounting all of their ballots around 6 o'clock Sunday evening. This video was taken on Friday of day one in Lowndes County. These 16 elections workers just beginning their task of recounting every ballot by hand, one at a time. But with more than 46,000 total, the group finishing up about three days early. According to Supervisor Deb Cox, only about 12 votes turned out to be different. She says those were interpretations of write-ins handled by the review panel. Did they spell the name right? Is that who they intended to when the spelling is so far off? It may or may not be that person. So those judgment decisions are what made the changes. But she says there were no other hiccups along the way. Moving forward, Cox says they're now preparing for the January runoff elections. Recount results will be made public when every county submits their work. The state will certify these results by Friday. As we are nearing the finish line here and the state has all of its results certified this week, we could be looking at a second recount requested by the losing candidate if that winning margin is still within 0.5%. Reporting in Lowndes County, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News news. And Amber mentions if you did not vote in the 2020 general election, you're still eligible to vote in Georgia's January runoff elections. The last day to register for that is December 7th.